Google Drive is a cloud storage service by Google. You can get 15 GB of free storage and then you can get more by paying around $25 for 100 GB. In this video, I'm going to show you some productivity tips for Google Drive, which will help you save some time. And because most of my YouTube subscribers are online teachers, therefore these tips are most beneficial if you are an online entrepreneur or an online teacher, because you will be using Google Drive a lot. But before I start, if this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Friday. And my Google Drive course is free. Name of the course is Learn to Master Google Drive. All of you guys can access this course free and I will show you at the end of this video. And now without further ado, uh, let's get started about the first tip. So the first tip is that Google Drive has a superb functionality of extracting text from images. So if you have an image or a scan, Google Drive can convert that scan into a Google document. And this is one of the scans I have in my Google Drive. So I want to show you how you can convert this scan to an editable Google document. And the benefit is great because if you find something in any book useful for your students, you can take a scan of that book by using your smartphone and then you can upload to Google Drive, convert it to a Google document and then make some editing, some changes and present it to your students. So your workflow will improve a lot. You will save a lot of time. And don't just take a picture, take a scan. And I have made a video about this and I will put a link somewhere here which you can watch how to take a scan by using your smartphone. But let's say I have taken this scan. To convert this to Google document, there are two ways. One is that I double click on that and it will give me a preview of the document. So this is the scan. And as you can see that even these lines are not uh, very straight. To convert this to a Google document, one way is to click on this open with and then Google Docs. And how amazing is this that a picture has been converted into a Google document. There are few minor inaccuracies which you can notice, but this is not a big deal. And, and after conversion, we can also detect that there was an error in the document, a spelling mistake in a book page, which is very rare but our system has found this mistake as well. And now you can edit the document, change the title, whatever you want, and then give it to your students. So this was my first tip. Let's close this. Now the second tip is that sometimes you are browsing the net and you find something useful for your students. You got a video idea for your YouTube channel or a lecture idea for your online course, and you want to capture that idea into a Google document. So instead of going back to Google Drive, clicking on new and then Google Docs and starting a new document in this way, because sometimes even Google Drive is not uh, open in any tab. So instead of that, what you can do is you can either open a new tab or even if you just want to start within this tab, what you need to do is simply type doc.new and press enter and it will immediately start a new Google document for you. And you can quickly capture your new idea and it will automatically be saved. If you just click once in this area, it will put your first line as the name of the document. And then your idea is saved in your Google Drive. You can later act upon this idea, whether it's a lecture idea or a video idea, whatever. So this was my second tip for you. Let's close this now once again. No, for the third tip, I will start a new Google document once again. And this tip is very useful when, for example, you want to transcribe your video or your speech. So if you click on tools and then voice typing. Now, when I will click this microphone icon, whatever I will speak will automatically be typed in this Google document because normally, you know, for every minute of speech, normally it takes six to seven minutes at least for typing that thing. But now it's very cool that if I click on this microphone icon, whatever I will speak, it will be recorded. So let's do that. I click on that. In this video, I'm going to show you five 
productivity tips about Google Drive. And when you are done, you simply click on this microphone icon once again and up to the once it captured my speech. So this is a very good way to transcribe your speech. You can transcribe your video as well and then you can translate that video into any other language by using Google Translator. Just uh, record in short sentences and complete sentences and then you take those sentences to Google Translator uh, for example to Spanish and to other audience if you are a YouTuber or a teacher. I have done this. I have uh, translated some of my videos into other languages where I wanted to get some more audience. So in this way you can expand your influence by using this fantastic speech to text tool in Google. Now this was tip number three. Another tip is that for example you have some question and answers for your students. So I click on this Google document. On this document, I have some frequently asked questions about Digit Idea, which is my channel or my website name. If you don't want to pay for website hosting or uh, any other extra charges, but you want to publish any document, Google document provides you the ability to publish any document without paying for any hosting. What is the benefit of publishing? For example, these are few questions or these are a set of instructions about digit idea and later I might change this document and I want all of my students to get the updated version of this document. And this is why we should have a website because the job of the website is that when you update everyone gets the updated version. In Google Docs you can also publish your document and it is very easy. You click on file and then publish to the web. If I click on that and then if I click on this little arrow, there is one more thing you must check that automatically republish when changes are made. And this is one of the fantastic feature that if you change this document in Google document, Google will update the changes. And now you simply want to click publish. So if I click on publish, it will ask me this. Are you sure? And I say, okay. And now you get this link and you will see this published message. And now you can send this link to your students or better if what you can do is you can, you can make a short link from Bitly and then you send it to your students. So Bitly will keep a record of how many students have visited your link and Bitly will show you all the data about your students that whether or not your students are visiting this link or not. So you can take this link to Bitly, make a short link and send it to your students and ask them to read the instructions about any particular course or in general instructions about uh, your brand name. And if in future you want to unpublish, you simply click stop publishing. So file and then come to this dialog box and then simply click stop publishing. So now this document has been published, so you simply close this dialog box. Very useful for online teachers and tutors also. So these were my four tips about Google Drive. I know how to get access to my free Google Drive masterclass. So you have two options. One is in the description of my video, any video. There is a link to get two month free membership to Skillshare where you will not only get my course, but all the courses. There are nearly 15,000 courses. So if you want to get a two month free access, but you have to give your credit card details. And if you are not seeing the value, you can cancel. If you get the membership by using my link, I will also get $10 from Skillshare. So this is one way. And if you want, and if you don't want to give your credit card details then you go to Udemy website. The link is not in the description but you go to Udemy website type Dr. Tahir Yaqub my name and in my courses uh, there is one course which is called learn to master Google Drive which is free course and you don't have to give any credit card information but you still have to give your email to Udemy and I will not get that email either only Udemy will get that. So you can access free course. If you want to 
join my mailing list there is a link in the description i think second or third link join my mailing list you click on that if you join my mailing list i normally send one or two emails per month and sometimes i also offer free coupons of my other courses other than google drive so you might get some other courses and uh, the reason i offer those free uh, coupons is that uh, to get the word out that this course has been released and uh, some of you might uh, spend some time to write a review so this is my purpose to get some review some feedback from you guys about my course and how i can improve it further but most of my subscribers they don't even bother to look in the description of this video otherwise if you get my google drive course all these tips and other tips everything is included in that course and therefore i decided to make this video that a lot of other students are getting benefit from my course so why not my own youtube subscribers they should also get my free course access but anyway thanks for watching and see you next time